Number 1. Which of the following is true about human development? A human development considers both maturation and learning. B. Development refers to the progressive series of changes of an orderly coherent type toward the goal of maturity. C. Development is the gradual and orderly unfolding of the characteristics of the individuals as they go through the successive stages of growth. D. All of the above. Answer, D. Number 2. What do you call the quantitative increase in terms of height and weight as observed by the school physician during the physical examination of the students? A. Development. B. Growth. C. Learning. D. Maturation. Answer, B. Number 3. Mrs. Gomez conducts research on the psychosocial domain of development. In what particular area of the child's development is Mrs. Gomez most likely to be interested with? A. Perceptual abilities. B. Brainwave patterns. C. Emotions. D. Use of language. Answer, C. Number 4. Which of the following is the correct order of psychosexual stages proposed by Sigmund Freud? A. Oral stage, anal stage, phallic stage, latency stage, genital stage. B. Anal stage, oral stage, phallic stage, latency stage, genital stage. C. Oral stage, anal stage, genital stage, latency stage, phallic stage. D. Anal stage, oral stage, genital stage, latency stage, phallic stage. Answer, A. Number 5. What is the best description of Erickson's psychosocial theory of human development? A. 8 crises all people are thought to lace. B. 4 psychosocial stages in latency period. C. The same number of stages as Freud's, but with different names. D. A stage theory that is not psychoanalytic. Answer, A. Number 6. In Erickson's theory, what is the unresolved crisis of an adult who has difficulty establishing a secure, mutual relationship with a life partner? A. Initiative versus guilt. B. Autonomy versus shame and doubt. C. Intimacy versus isolation. D. Trust versus mistrust. Answer, C. Number 7. Alyssa is 8 years old, and although she understands some logical principles, she still has troubles in understanding hypothetical concepts. According to Piaget, Alyssa belongs to what particular stage of cognitive development? A. Sensorimotor. B. Preoperational. C. Concrete operational. D. Formal operational. Answer, C. Number 8. Which of the following provides the best broad description of the relationship between heredity and environment in determining height? A. Heredity is the primary influence, with environment affecting development only in severe situations. B. Heredity and environment contribute equally to development. C. Environment is the major influence on physical characteristics. D. Heredity directs the individual's potential and environment determines whether and to what degree the individual reaches the potential. Answer, A. Number 9. What is the correct sequence of prenatal stages of development? A. Embryo, germinal, fetus. B. Germinal, fetus, embryo. C. Germinal, embryo, fetus. D. Embryo, fetus germinal answer c number 10 when a baby realized that a rubber duck which has fallen out of the tub must be somewhere on the floor he is likely to achieve what aspect of cognitive development a object permanence b deferred imitation c mental combinations d goal directed behavior answer a number 11 which of the following will be Freud's description of the child's behavior if he he has biting, sarcastic manner? A. Anally expulsive. B. Anally retentive. 
C. Fixated in the oral stage. D. Experiencing the crisis of trust versus mistrust. Answer, C. Number 12. What is Freud's idea about a young boy's guilt feelings brought about by jealousy of his father's relationship with his mother? A. Electra complex. B. Oedipus complex. C. Phallic complex. D. Penis envy complex. Answer, B. Number 13. When a little girl who says she wants her mother to go on vacation so that she can marry her father, Freud believes that he is voicing a fantasy consistent with A. Oedipus complex B. Electra complex C. Theory of mind D. Crisis of initiative versus guilt Answer, B. Number 14 which of the following can best describe the preschooler's readiness to learn new task and play activities? A. Emerging competency and self-awareness. B. Theory of the mind. C. Relationship with parents. D. Growing identification with others. Answer, A. Number 15. James noted that when the preschoolers eagerly begin many new activities but are vulnerable to criticism and feelings of failure, they are experiencing what particular crisis? A. Identity versus role confusion. B. Initiative versus guilt. C. Basic trust versus mistrust. D. Efficacy versus helplessness. Answer, B. Number 16. What stage of Piaget's cognitive development does a person belong to when he can understand specific logical ideas and apply them to concrete problems? A. Preoperational thought. B. Operational thought. C. Create operational thought. D. Formal operational thought. Answer, C. Number 17. What is the best explanation of Piaget's concrete operational thought to describe the school-age child's mental ability? A. A child can reason logically about things and events he or she perceives. B. A child's ability to think about how he thinks. C. Can understand that certain characteristics of an object remain the same when other characteristics are changed. D. Can understand that moral principles may supersede the standards of society. Answer, C. Number 18. Elisa who is in between 9 and 11 years of age are most likely to demonstrate moral reasoning at which Kohlberg's stage? A. Pre-conventional. B. Conventional. C. Post-conventional. D. None of the above. Answer, B. Number 19. According to Kohlberg, a dutiful citizen who obeys the laws set down by society is at which level of moral reasoning? A. Pre-conventional stage 1. B. Pre-conventional stage 2. C. Conventional. D. Post-conventional. Answer, C. Number 20. Anna, who is low achieving, shy, and withdrawn, is rejected by most of her peers. Her teacher wants to help Anna increase her self-esteem and social acceptance. What can Joy's teacher suggest to her parents? A. Transfer her to a different school. B. Help their daughter improve her motor skills. C. Help their daughter learn to accept more responsibility for her academic failures. D. Help their daughter improve her skills in relating to peers. Answer, D. Number 21. What is the most accurate definition of puberty stage? A. Rapid physical growth that occurs during adolescence. B. Stage when sexual maturation is attained. C. Rapid physical growth and sexual maturation that ends childhood. D. Stage when adolescents establish identifies separate from their parents. Answer, C. Number 22. 15-year-old Marie is preoccupied with her disgusting appearance and seems depressed most of the time. What is the best thing her parents can do to help her get through this difficult time? A. Ignore her self-preoccupation because their attention would only reinforce it. B. Encourage to shape up and not give in the self-pity. 
C kid her about her appearance in the hope that she will see how silly she is acting. D offer practical advice, such as clothing suggestions, to improve her body image. Answer, D. Number 23. What can be the best comparison of the behavior of a 17-year-old girl to that of her 13-year-old brother? A. She is more likely critical about herself. B. She tends to be more egocentric. C. She had less confidence in her abilities. D. She is more capable of reasoning hypothetically. Answer, D. Number 24. According to Erickson, what is the primary task of adolescent? A. To establish trust. B. To search for his identity. C. To be more intimate with others. D. To establish integrity. Answer, B. Number 25. What is the main source of emotional support for most young people who are establishing independence from their parents? A. Older adolescents of the opposite sex. B. Older sibling. C. Teachers. D. Peer groups.